Let's take it back a little bit. What type of student were you in school? <laughs> Whew, I was a troublemaker. I ain't gonna say I was a troublemaker, but I stayed in trouble. I stayed in trouble, man. Um, I was rebellious. I was very rebellious. Like, I had a problem with authority. My mouth used to get me in trouble a lot, especially with the teachers. Um, my grades wasn't, I was in the middle. So I was average, um, but I stayed in trouble a lot. I was, I was always in, in school detention, after school detention. I done skipped a few times. So yeah, it's, it was, it was, oh wow. Graduated high school? No, I, ne I never did actually, man. I want to get, I actually want to get my GED. So yeah, so. College, but, try college? I registered for college, but never went. They wound up, it was a financial situation that never went, so you was, I was like, you know, whatever, screw it. I'll try again later down in life, you know, but then I got more serious about doing the music. <laughs> when did the military come into play? Uh, the, mil the military came into play in 2005, right after I got my GED. Um, I was having problems at home, and then, you know, my mama hit me with that. Uh, you live as long as you live under my house, you live by my rules. And I was like, well, I'm gonna just go ahead and go uh, talk to Uncle Sam and see what he talking about. And you know, I wound up going. <laughs> Why? It Why was, the military? Well, prior to to me joining the military, you know, I was a military brat, so I didn't seen a lot and experienced a lot. I love traveling, so you know, that was one way to get out the house. And plus, it was also a way for me to see new things in life and gain new experience and new knowledge, man. So I told my mom, you know, I'm going to join the service. She got scared, you know, the whole, that's around the Iraq and all that stuff was going on, you know, and she was worried. I said, you know, I'm going to be cool, I'm going to be good, you know. My first duty station that I wound up going to was in Korea, so I love Korea. So, yeah, so I had to. Now, how long did you do in the military? I did three years. Three? Three years. Honorable yeah. discharge? General. General, general discharge. Gen general under honorable. So I'm waiting for them to switch it over to honorable. So What's the difference between general and honorable? Um, well, honorable is where they just straight, you know, send you off. Like, say, if you, um, you served your time or if it's a reason that they have to get rid of you and you don't really have any discrepancies. Um, I actually had a few discrepancies trying to get out due to family situations and I felt my, my presence was more needed at home dealing with family than being in the service. So they gave me a general under honorable, which means it's just a general, it's like, okay, well, we'll just let you go. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to get it turned into an honorable, you're going to have to talk to the board so they can review your paperwork. So once they review my paperwork, then, you know, they'll decide if they want to switch it over or not. Why would someone like you want to get it switched over from general to honorable, or it doesn't matter? I mean, at first it didn't matter, <clears throat> but now it's more so like because there's a lot of a uh, a lot of uh, the word I'm looking for, but it's more like if it's switched over, I have a lot more opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Like um, I, I still get some some opportunities with it being a general under honorable but if it's more of an honorable it's more uh more rewarding so you know it's more like a, it's more like an advantage in today's society with an honorable than it is with a general so. and you're talking about in like regular society or you're talking about like military benefits or M military benefits um mainly the military benefits in general um, because there is some benefits that you might get with the honorable than you would with the general so so you're currently working on the general status yes. i mean the honorable status <laughs> yeah you're general now <laughs> you're working on the honorable status yeah 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 trying, okay trying now to get it over if you could go back in time would you have gone and joined the military or no looking back at yourself and your situation hindsight 2020 if i could no nah. Because because everything I experienced then brought me to the point where I'm at now. You know, and I'm pretty sure 
if the situation would have been different there, I wouldn't be sitting here. I'd be too busy, you know, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, so. Now, what about th people thinking about joining the military, maybe watching this interview, um, and they're thinking, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. What's your advice to someone thinking about it? Um, it's all about what you make it. Um, you know, it does have good benefits. Like for me, joining the military is my last resort. Um, but it did, while I was in, it did help me gain a lot of knowledge. It helped me mature as a person as well. It taught me a lot. Uh, so for anybody out there that's thinking about it, I say the longer you think about it, the less, the less you'll be more prone to actually doing it. So, you know, if you're going to do it, do it. Don't think about it. Just get it done. But also think about the reasons you're going. Do your research. Look at the benefits that you can get while you're in. Look at the benefits you get when you're out. You know what I'm saying? Always do your research on anything. You know, don't, don't sit too long on something because it'll never get done if you do. So...